Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video from Real Suffolk FC in the Ipswich Sunday Football League. And on match day 8 in the ISFL Division 3, it's Real Suffolk away to AFC Claydon with me, Jason Lewis. And me, Ben Cadamore. Let's take a look at the lineup today. You've got me, Jason Lewis, in between the sticks, moving into the back four. We've got Ryan Sutherland at left back, Kyle Moore Holland at right back, Kieran and Craney in the middle. The midfield four, you've got Mason Rayner on the right, Baker on the left, Hart and Nate in the middle, Smithy and Curtis Fleming up front. Henry L going with the 4-4-2 formation today. And on the substitutes bench, you've got Jermaine, Cornell, BC, Trey. And manager, Chris Cook. And the referee today is Mark Wright. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with everything Real Suffolk. So it's Clayton who get kick it off today. Very windy game today as they go for the long ball forward. Not a lot happens in the first few minutes of the game we come to the 28th minute as Real Suffolk to get the ball here um, back and forth onto the halfway line plays it forward out wide to um, Nathan on this left hand side who brings the ball forward does really well evades the challenge comes in and the referee has given a corner the wind's in our favour in this half so what can we do the ball is lofted in comes out to Curtis who hits it Hits the bar, it's bouncing around, it's been tapped home. There's like Smithy who's got the goal. Rao Suffolk take the lead, it's 1 0. It is this outswinging corner that really seems to catch Clayton off guard. Their defence don't deal with it. It's a lovely control off the chest there, fires a shot, which takes a couple of deflections for falling right at the feet of Smithy. He's at the right place at the right time. That's what you want from your striker. That's how he gets his goals. Real Suffolk still looking to apply the pressure here. It's only the next minute in the 30th. We've got another corner again in swinging this time, but uh, wind in our favour, trying to put as much pressure as we can on the league leaders. Ball comes in, it's headed off the line, went straight over the goalkeeper. And Clayton looked to get the ball clear, but it's gone out for a throw-in on that far side. Nathan looks to pick the ball up, trying to get some game restarted as quick as he can. It's a long throw-in. It's not dealt with by the defence. It falls to Smithy, has a shot. It's 2-0. What a start by Rao Suffolk. Two goals inside the first half hour. This all starts from that big throw. Again, the defence don't deal with the high ball, lands at the feet of Smith, who does a brilliant quick turn and stabs the ball in the far corner. 30 minutes played and Real looking really good here. It's Clayton who challenging for the title. Don't seem to be at their best at the start of this game. The wind playing a factor. It's another corner. It's a low ball in, bouncing around. Shot is cleared on the edge of the box and Clayton looked to try and form a sort of counter as it comes out here, but it's dispossessed by Mason. It's a great dispossession. He's placed it on the left-hand side. Smithy picks the ball up, takes a touch, puts it across goal. The defence clears as Rail, as Rail Suffolk miss an attack there, but they quickly get the ball back, look to switch play. It's over his head and Clayton can try and run away here um, and they win the free kick on this near side. They're chasing the game now. They need a goal as quick as they can. Quick free kick to the centre back. Looking at his options. Brings the ball forward. Plays it out to this near side to the number nine. Gives it to the full back. It's a long ball forward. Craney's tried to clear it. He's not dealt with it. I'm bursting out here. He beats me to it through the legs. Oh, and Craney just misses it. It's a goal back for Clayden. Not my finest hour. It's this long ball forward. There's a little bit too much hesitation there and the striker gets the lucky deflection. Jason, you run out, but it goes through your legs and just leaves them an empty net. Craney done well to get back there, but just missed the ball. 
Braden now trying to get another goal before half time. They've got the uh, the corner on this near side. Cleared away, poor corner. And the referee now blows his whistle for half time. Rao Suffolk with a 2 1 lead. And before we go into the second half, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with everything Brielle Suffolk. So it was an excellent start by Brielle Suffolk, bursting into a 2 0 lead in the first half an hour. We'll take a look at the goals here again. The poachers finished by Smithy. And again, as I said, Clayton are one's challenge for the title. So to take this early lead was really, really a good statement for the game. See the second goal here by Smithy. Turns the defender, finds the bottom corner. But Clayton edging themselves back into the game with uh, a cheap goal to concede from our point of view. Should have cleared it. Keeper, whoever he is, should have done better. Um, all makes an exciting second half. Wind is against us this half, so how will we deal with it as the referee and the players come out for the second half? Yeah, certainly with these windy conditions, any high balls are going to be very tricky to deal with, which is why all the goals so far have come from them. Clayton haven't had much of a sniff in the first half. It's all been at the other end, so hopefully Real can keep that up. As it's Smithy who gets Real Suffolk away for the second half. As I said, wind is against us now, so it's going to be a struggle this half. Can Ralph Suffolk keep their lead as they pass the ball around the defence? It's five minutes into the second half now as Clayton bring the ball forward. He's unchallenged, plays it inside to midfielder. He lines up a shot. Oh, what an effort. Great goal. Top corner. Wind was, was, wind was in his favour. I just didn't stand a chance. Although this goal is a belter, Jason, I think you've got to get a hand to that come off it that was top corner top corner and the parrot came out I, I couldn't stand a chance anyways 2-2 as the corner comes in oh keepers flapped at it got caught in the wind that's my excuse played in a turn this game around in six minutes it's 3-2 yeah safe to say you are not getting man the match unfortunately mate you need to either punch that or stay on your line now Clayton take the lead Clayton a foul there was no one around me not a lot happened for much more of the second half. We progressed to the 73rd minute. Raul Suffolk again with the long throw. It's flicked on. He's there. He scored. It's 3-3. Free free. It's an excellent goal. Great team play. It's this big throw again here. Not dealt with by the fence. And it's bundled in to draw level. Second time this has happened in that game. That long throw is treble Clayton. It's a tactic I don't think we even knew we had. But... Uh, it's a good, good goal there. 75th minute now. Clayton look try and retake the lead. It's a ball forward. It's cut out by Jermaine, but he's dispossessed by the number seven. He plays it out wide here. The winger gets past sub brilliantly. Brilliant bit of skill. Bursts into the box. Plays it across the goal. It's deflected. It's bouncing around. <sighs> Strikers pull it away. Come on, Jason. When it rains, it pours. Uh, the player does well to get past. He puts the cross in. Um, but it's a weak strike there, and it sort of ends up at the boots of the striker who lashes at home. Jason, what happened there? Lots of bobbing around, lots of deflections. I was already on the ground. Ball was always going past me. Tricky one, tricky one. Doesn't look good on camera, put it that way. So Clayton retake the lead. It's 4-3 as we progress to the later parts of the game as they look to try and extend their lead. The ball is given away cheaply there as they come away again. Burst the speed to get past the defender. Has the shot. I parried it. Comes back to the striker. He's found the back of the net. Clayton have all but wrapped this game up now. It's 5-3. Hit the catalogue of errors here. Striker hits the ball at you and it's spilled out in front for the quick tapping. weren't up quick enough but Clayton very powerful played very well in this second half conditions have helped them but uh, we haven't helped ourselves and again it's it's straight off the kickoff the ball's come forwards comes to the strike he's one on one he's found the bottom corner they are loving it 6-3 here's no mistakes by Real here it is actually quite a well worked goal from the field all the way up to the strikers and quite a nice finish to cap it off yeah um 
sloppy, that's all I can say. But uh, 87th minute now, as you said, when it rains, it pours, but it's another attack here for Clayton. The cool, the corner comes in, it's met by the header, it's gone in, it's 7-3. This is why Clayton are up there at the top of the table. They can just blow teams away. As I said before, this wind is hard to defend against. Uh, striker is unmarked and loops the header to finish this game off. 90th minute now. Heads have gone. The morale's dropped, but the referee calls time. It's the end of the game. No one would have saw this at half time. but well done to Clayton. They've done the best they can and got all three points today. Yeah, well, it really was a game of two halves. First half, Real actually did contain Clayton very well and looked quite strong. Second half, it was flipped and Clayton really took the game with a very deserved victory and a bad day at the office for you, unfortunately, Jason. Huh. Always come back stronger. Thank you so much for watching. Like and follow the channel. More videos to come. Take care.